In today's video, we're going to break down the hottest takes when it comes to the New York Knicks from subscribers on the channel. So I'm going to give you my hottest take, maybe not my hottest take, but a hot take. And then we're going to go to the crowd and the subscribers from our live show this past Monday, and they're going to give us their hottest takes. We're going to break it down in today's show. My hot take that it may not be my hottest take, but a take that I think is hot and that I think is actually achievable is Quentin Grimes is going to be in the running for the most improved player in the NBA this upcoming season. I really believe that Grimes can be one of the best young two-way winning basketball players in the NBA. I think he plays their game the right way. I think he plays with a lot of effort. I think he plays with a lot of energy and just a lot of winning juice from Quentin Grimes. And I think that starts on the defensive end where he is one of the most disrespected defensive players in the NBA. I think Knicks fans understand that Grimes is a dog on the defensive side of the court, but I think there's a lot of people across the NBA that don't understand how special of a player he is. Here are some stats that I want to break down. When you talk about Quentin Grimes as a defender, in ISO situations, he is one of the best in the NBA. Your favorite player has probably been locked up by Quentin Grimes. Shot to Jimmy Butler when he ripped him in the playoffs and went coast to coast. In ISO situations, Quentin Grimes allows a field goal percentage of 31.4. Think about that. And then when he gets ISO'd, he allows 0.7 points per ISO. Remember, buckets are worth two and three points. You don't got to be a stat nerd to know this is great defense. Another stat that I want to show you, this comes from Bas Basketball Index. When you look at this pie chart, a little bit of x-axis, a little bit of y-axis. Look at it like this. So the higher you are up on this chart, that means the more effective you are as a defender. The more to the right you are is how difficult your matchups is. Who's the player that's most to the right? That is Quentin Grimes. Quentin Grimes had the most difficult matchup on defense throughout the 2022-2023 NBA season, and he's almost a neutral defender in that regard. Think about it like this. When he guards the best players every single night, he does a good job against it. But it's not just on the defensive floor that I think he's going to get his name called for and get recognized and get respect. What he did this year, when he got the looks, he took advantage. The guy in 29 minutes per game, playing alongside a ball-dominant Quentin Grimes, a ball-dominant R.J. Barrett, uh, excuse me, a ball-dominant Jalen Brunson, a ball-dominant R.J. Barrett, and a ball-dominant Julius Randle, the guy still averaged 11 points per game and was one of the most efficient players on this team, shooting 47% from the field and almost 39% from downtown. Another stat that I love about Quentin Grimes is pretty much when he gets involved, the New York Knicks win. The Knicks record... When Grimes made three or more three-pointers in a game last year, they were 18-8, and eight, which would make them one of the best teams in the NBA if you stretch that out over 82 games. But it's not just when he makes threes is he effective. When he gets more than 10-plus shots in a game, which he did 25 times, he averaged almost 18 points per game and shot 40.8% from downtown on eight and a half threes per night. That is Clay Thompson stuff right there. Shooting 41% from three on almost nine attempts per night. AKA, this stat on screen, you get Grimes 10 plus shots, he's going to be a really effective player. Another reason I think Quinn Grimes is going to take a big step is because he has been selected to the USA Basketball Select Team. This is the team that's going to be practicing against the team with Jalen Brunson and Mikel Bridges and Josh Hart this summer. Why do I think this is important? Because you always see those guys. Go to Team USA. Practice with those guys. Get in that environment. Learn from the people that are at the top of their game. And you can translate and carry that in to the NBA season. He's going to be in great shape going into the season, as he always is. He is a hard worker, no doubt about it. But I believe between Team USA, more looks, and just that defensive intensity continuing to go up, He's going to be one of the best players, young players in the league this year, and he's going to be a guy that's going to be in the running for most improved. I'll ask you this question. 13 and a half points per game for Quentin Grimes this year. It was 11.9 last year. Can it go up two points per game? I want to hear from you. Type O for over, type U for under. Let me know what you think down in the comment section.
And make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because nonstop coverage of the Knicks all year. We put videos out every single day on the latest Knicks news and rumors. So go down right now and hit that big red sub button. Let's get to some hot takes from some Knicks now. Real ones out there. A definite real one. David Taylor says, my hot take, R.J. Barrett averages 26 points per game and shoots 39.5% from three and 42% from the field. Um, David, I would say that 42% from the field is not going to be a hot, hot take because that's what R.J. Barrett averages. But the three-point percentage and the points per game is absolutely a hot take because when you look at what R.J. Barrett did this past year, he averaged 19.6 points per game, five rebounds, just under three assists, 43% from the field, which was a career best for R.J., I believe, and the three-point percentage definitely took a step back. I'll tell you this much. If RJ gives you 26 points per game next year, David, and he shoots 39.5% from three, the Knicks are going to be the best team or the second best team in the Eastern Conference. If you can have RJ Barrett shoot 40% from three, the trade talks about RJ Barrett on this channel are going to die down because he is going to be an elite driver of the basketball in terms of getting there per drive. I think he's going to get better as a finisher, but man, if he can get up to 30 Nine and a half percent from three. Yeah, this team's going to be pretty freaking good. My man CPJ coming in with a hot take. Says, pair Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brunson with Giannis and Ty Lu as our coach. Uh, yeah, sign me up. Um, if that ever happens, CPJ, um, I'm going to have you buy some lottery tickets for me because you're predicting the future, my man. Brunson, Mitchell, Giannis, yeah, that, 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 that's winning an NBA championship. That may be winning multiple NBA championships. Um, and Ty Lue as a head coach, I think that team would be pretty damn good. Uh, I don't know how likely, but I like the hot take, my man. Hulo Caesar coming in with a hot take. Emmanuel quickly starts at the two and wins most improved player Averaging 18 points per game, five assists, and five rebounds. The only reason I would say no is because I want Emmanuel Quickly to be that point guard coming off the bench. I don't think the numbers are off all that much. I mean, this past year coming off the bench, he averaged 15 points per game, four rebounds, and almost five assists. Excuse me, four assists. And he was super efficient, 44.8% from the field and 37% from downtown and we saw when Emmanuel quickly was a starter the guy averaged 23 5 and 6 on 47 and 40 splits from the field so I don't necessarily think the stats are a hot take I will never be surprised by Emmanuel quickly and what he does on the court because I know how special and talented of a player that he is it's just I don't know if he is a starter for this team because maybe it's just me I want him to be the backup point guard on this team. Can he be a spot starter? Yes, he could start at the one. He could start at the two. Uh, shoot, if Julius, R.J. Barrett, excuse me, gets hurt, he could take his spot in the starting lineup and move Grimes to the three. But uh, I'm not going to be shocked if quickly ever averages 18 points per game. And one edits with a hot take. Says Jalen Brunson gets MVP and carries the New York Knicks to a chip. That's hot. That's a hot take, and I'd probably be crying tears of joy if that ever happened for Jalen Brunson. I mean, shoot, if he does what he did in the playoffs in the regular season, uh, I don't think anyone would be shocked if a player that averaged 28-5-5 and five on 47% from the floor would be an MVP candidate. I mean, we've seen players average less than that and be an MVP candidate. The Knicks would probably have to be a one seed. Brunson puts up these numbers. Um... Man, how cool would it be, though? Jalen Brunson, MVP, and brings a title back to the city. Uh, that would be awesome. I love Jalen Brunson. I think he is a top five point guard in the NBA. I think he's the best point guard in the Eastern Conference. I don't know if he'll ever get the love that he deserves for being an MVP because he's not the most flashy guy. But, man, when you just talk about in between those white lines, about basketball and about winning, there's not many players I want on my team over Jalen Brunson, especially at that point guard spot.
I appreciate everybody that submitted their hot takes on our live show. This was a lot of fun. Wanted to try a new segment, but I want to know, do you want us to do more hot take segments? If you do, hit that thumbs up icon right now. And hey, maybe we get to 500 likes on today's video. We'll do more hot takes. Thank you.